happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us, we have the GE Superstar, the model number 7 2850, and mine is a model A. Uh, this is a really cool radio. Uh, you can get these on eBay from anywhere from 25 to 40 bucks, depending on condition. Mine came with the original box, which I thought was really cool. Um, I'm always a stickler for original boxes and original paperwork, and this one came with both. My radio's got a few little dings, but not too bad. Pretty good shape. So, yeah, let's go and show this to you. Superstar. Now, this came out, I believe, in the late 70s and went on throughout the early 80s and mid 80s. Uh, my particular one has a little date code on top here. 1134 and I believe that second digit designates the year of the decade and I believe it's 81 So there we go. That's what that looks like pretty nifty setup So it says on the side here kind of angle it in It's got a bunch of bullet points there. It's kind of hard to see but there you go and then You get a 90-day warranty sweet. You think I can make a claim on it? <laughs> on the back. This is fun. Here we go. They got the GE AM FM IC Incorporates 130 individual components in a single solid-state device. Pretty awesome. Could bring good things to life. Nice to see. Here we go. We got tone control, built-in loudness control. Automatically boosts the bass response when you set the level to a low listening. Okay, that's pretty neat. Uh, AFC is switchable. Love that. Uh, automatic AC-DC switching. Great. And an earphone jack. Awesome. So there you go. There's the box. I took everything out of the box. Let me just set that aside. So in the box, we got some paperwork. Thought I'd show it to you really quick. I always like this old vintage stuff. I think it's pretty neat. Let's bring this back down here. All right, so here's some paperwork with the model number, picture, yeah, use and care guide. We got some extra paperwork inside, which I'll show you in a moment. But here's the manual, just like <laughs> the cheap Chinese radios we have nowadays. Um, this is pretty cool. Where it shows all the little things going on. There you are. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty basic features. Talk. I'll talk about everything on here. It's pretty simple. Do, 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 do. There you go. If you're curious, just for posterity. Pretty neat. There's your warranty. Sweet. And then our model number again down there. Revision 2. So it's been out for a while, this particular radio. Uh, somebody mentioned uh, that this might be a radio before the Super Radio or inspired the Super Radio. I don't think so because it's a bit on the small side. I imagine a different radio. Should have done that. Now this here, this is interesting. This I think is an order form. If you want to buy stuff. Hold on, this is something else here too. This is your owner registration certificate. Look at that. I got serial number 2134. All right, I feel special. Yeah, there's my file number with the A designation there. Cool. Uh, let's see, this is an order form. Let's see what this looks like. Accessory order form. There you go, your FM antenna indoor folded dipole. That's kind of cool. Um, the heck it shows it on the ground I don't know okay pillow speakers they had those back then remote speakers how was that stereo headphone adapter enables to use stereo headphones with your monitor okay nice earphone so like we've got Duracell batteries all right some big headphones AC adapter what else we got uh, long-range AM external antenna kit hey look at that for 12 bucks I love that and there you go. So you can order this stuff today. No, not anymore. <laughs> hey, look at the old symbol, Master Charge. All right. <laughs> you got your Master Charge, sir? <laughs> nice. Okay. Very cool. And then, uh, what is this? Uh, this is probably like locations of your service or something like that, maybe. I'm guessing. Warning safety. Okay. Let's get to the radio. Radio! Front and center. Boom. Here it is. Let's see if I can get this on camera. It's got a handle. Let's get that in the frame. All right. Let's go over dimensions of the GE Superstar. Love that name, Superstar. It sounds so awesome. Uh, dimensions. Okay, so including the tuning knob here, we're nine and three quarters across. And then for height, we're including the handle on top here. We're at seven and a half inches. Without the handle, we're at six inches because that folds back behind the radio. Loving that. And the depth is two and a half inches. That includes the front knobs here. So pretty awesome setup. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Let's go over. Uh, well, we should do a size comparison, right? I don't have a big enough radio to sit next to this. So let's just uh, put stuff on it, like uh, some 
We got radio sitting over here. Here we go. We got our popular CC Skywave. Awesome. We'll use this as our frequency checker tonight if we need to. That's the current time, 1021 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. Let's get that out of the way. And then what else we got here? Okay, stuff buried. I put the paperwork on top of everything. CC pocket for size. It fits right where the speaker's at. <laughs> It's a good sounding radio too, let me tell you. I love it. I'm just loving this radio. Love the dial. Yeah, we'll get to that. All right, there's Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He likes radios from Hong Kong land. <laughs> yes, this radio is made in Hong Kong, okay? <laughs> Not USA. Hong Kong. <laughs> It'd be nice to see USA, but uh, yeah. Still the GE, which is awesome. All right, so let's uh, talk about features of the Superstar. Yeah, the 72850A. Yeah, it's a mouthful, but it's cool. See so the left hand side, we got this really cool design. God, it reminds me of some kind of design. I think the Super Radio had that kind of design to the side. Is that right? I think it does. I, I'm looking at my Super Radio right now, and yeah, I don't think it's the same, but I've seen this used before on a GE radio. Okay, and it's got that silver. Um, you can tell the handle is metal, solid metal there. I like that. On the front, we have a really cool dial um, FM on top, AM on the bottom. You can see eight, uh, 88 to 108 on FM, log scale in the middle. Oh, actually, it's this little ticks. Log scale on the bottom, excuse me. Uh, the AM yeah, it shows 550 to 1600. Uh, during the day, it topped out at 1620. I'm thinking that's going to be the same tonight because it I means it's it dead stopped at 1620. Um, over here, we have uh, indicators, uh, FM, AFC, and AM band there. Pretty nice. There you go. Uh, here, we have a metal speaker grill. And behind here, we have a nice big 4-inch speaker that has fantastic audio. Love it. Uh, here's our switches. We have a band select for AM and FM. And you can see as you move it, the indicator changes there. I love that high visibility. And, of course, we have AC, AFC on and off. When I did my FM reception report, I had AFC off. Putting AFC on definitely locks in the frequency, but you lose a lot of the band while you do that. So always tune your radio when you're looking for DX with the AFC off if you're using a classic radio like this. Um, you have tone control, which is very usable. I like this. It's got a full minimum to maximum. That's nice. Bass and treble would have been nice, but tone's good enough for me. Uh, volume on off. Right hand side, we have a tuning wheel here. Pretty good shape. This radio overall is in good shape. I mean, there's a few little dents and dings, but not too bad. Uh, there's the earphone jack. Top of the radio, we have the uh, see, we have the handle, which is kind of hard to move. I think it's because it just sat in the box or stored for so long. I checked it out. There's really no way to loosen it up, so I'm just going to leave it alone, not use it too much. Um, here's the antenna. This antenna is cool. It uh, comes up here. Let me see if I can pop this up. This antenna extends up to 30 inches. I thought that was nice. It's got a little grip here to pull it up and a little lock here. And it swivels 360 degrees, so you can actually lay this radio flat, and you can position just position the antenna any way you want. I was able to get a lot of stations because I could do that. Let's go ahead and put that back in there. There you go. It's nicely stowed. I like that. Let's go to the back of the radio. Then we'll talk about FM reception, and then we'll turn this on and listen to what it sounds like. So let's see on the back here. It says GE. There's our model number yeah, embossed in the plastic, made in Hong Kong. Now you got your AC cord here, which is nice. It's separate from the, the batteries, which I really like. Uh, it's wound up really nice. Never used. You can tell the plug is brand new. I would show you, but that's really hard to open and close, so I'd rather not fumble on camera with that. Same with the battery compartment. This is an interesting battery compartment. Um, it's on this one side, and there's four C batteries. So there's one, two, three, four, and he uses on this top row, he uses that strap similar to the Super Radio. If you ever look at my Super Radio reviews, you'll see that strap going over the, the D cell batteries. Well, there's a strap going over the C cell battery. I thought that was kind of neat. So four C batteries behind that door. So interesting. It's like a Super Radio Junior, I'll call it. <laughs> Superstar. Yeah, it's, it's a Super Radio Junior. <laughs> Always fun. So let's go ahead and just leave the handle up. Let's go talk about FM reception. You guys know I do on a five-star method. Um, I always uh, like to talk about that before I... Uh, it's a fingerprint magnet there in the chrome. I like my chrome. <laughs> uh, so five-star. Um, it starts out... First star is fair. Second's okay. Third is good. Four is very good. And five is excellent. Of course, I go in between. Most analog radios like this is okay to good. This particular radio, you know, okay to good is about 48 to 50 stations, by the way, for average analog radios. This one's above average on FM. Couldn't believe it. Uh, this scored... Um, very good to very good, which is it found 70 stations. I was completely flabbergasted by how many stations I found. With the AFC off, I was finding things left and right, and it was coming in fantastic. They were all coming in great. Um, no tropo. There was no uh, 
East skip training going on. So <clears throat> it was definitely just a strong, strong day, picking up signals real well from my usual spot in the couch, usual time of day. I test these radios out on FM. So definitely a great FM analog receiver. Loving the ability to turn the AFC off and the AFC back on. It's definitely a good setup. Um, also, FM selectivity, I gave it a good three-star rating because it did find quite a bit. Um, to make it very good, I just had to find a little bit more stations. But on uh, selectivity, only a few stations bled over. I'm pretty impressed. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn the radio on. We're going to demo the audio for a few minutes, and then we'll cruise the uh, evening band on AM. AM band was really strong during the day, so I'm hoping it's strong during the evening. So we're going to turn the radio Totterbert. I have an FM transmitter too, hooked up to an MP3 player playing YouTube royalty-free music, so I can demo the audio without any kind of YouTube copyright protection, or you know, so it shows in all countries. Let's go ahead and turn this on. We'll run this for a few minutes. sounds like sounds fantastic in person i mean that speaker is that big it's a beast uh, i had to take this apart to clean the volume potentiometer uh, amazing sounding audio so let's go ahead and turn off my devices here and we'll cruise the medium wave band in the evening so i mentioned it's a uh, time again this is 10 30 now p.m central standard time near chicago illinois and we're gonna see what we can hear we tune to the bottom of the band here i like this nice linear dial um this nice side tuning is cool and having volume right on the front. So we'll have a lot of fun here. So we'll go ahead and uh, turn on AM. We just turn the FC off for the heck of it. And uh, yeah, we'll see what here. Let's go ahead and turn this up. Here's static. Nice. Let's see if we can pick up CHLO. I'll get my little list here. Don't miss anything. I always like to have that. And we'll have the Skywave as the frequency checker tonight. Let me just go ahead and turn that on. Have that ready to go. And a little bit. Okay, there we go. You can hear me hitting that. All right, so let's go ahead and tune. Come on, 
commercial motors, gas stations, apartment buildings, industrial buildings, equity financing, truck loan, business and construction loans, bridge financing, private loans, mortgages and debt consolidation. Yani ki kisi bhi tarah ki mortgage ya financing ki need ke liye call kijiye Delta Mortgage ko. 647-272-5221. That's 647-272-5221. This is at CHLO, Brampton, Ontario on 530. Sale, sale, sale. Furniture Empire, they be a Be cool to get call letters. <laughs> uh, Brampton, Ontario, 441 miles. They say 250 watts. Uh, pretty cool if that's the case. Loving it. Fred Coleman on Freddie Amphit Simmons on ESPN Radio, the ESPN app and series. ESPN says WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. Interesting thing, as I turned it down, the bass got higher. I noticed that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, 70 miles away, 400 watts on 540. The free agent movement. They're going to get it tomorrow night as Zion Williamson makes his debut, his NBA debut for the Pelicans, taking on San Antonio Spurs. Comes at ESPN at 9.30 Eastern time. Let's bring our friend Scott Kushner. Does a great job. As I mentioned, is at 400 watts at night. NBA columnist for the Times Picking You and the New Orleans Advocate. You can follow him on Twitter at Scott D. Kushner. This is KTRS 550, St. Louis, Missouri, 270 miles, 5,000 watts. McDowell, CEO and founder of Wesley Financial Group. Ten years ago, well, that knoll is really nice. Wow, didn't expect that. In the process, started what's now called the timeshare cancellation. 560 WIND Chicago. Wow, you can't tell me how much it's going to cost or when it's going to end. When you buy a timeshare, you give them a blank. Okay, I lost the station. Okay, this is just coming in WNAX 570, Yankton, South Dakota. Let me see what it sounds like on my Skywave. So it's getting a hard time picking that up. There we go. So yeah, uh, WNAX is on 570. This is 460 miles away, 5,000 watts. Okay, let me just see. I think it's pretty unsteady atmosphere. It's... So it's not the radio, it's definitely the conditions. Okay, yeah, because when I took this apart, this, this radio had a four inch fair right in there, really nicely wound. That was probably KXSP on 590, Omaha, Nebraska, 405 miles, 5,000 watts. Let's get some legible stations. That wallet of yours, learning ways to save more and spend less, and don't let anybody ever rip you off. Clark.com is our main website, and if you're a shopper and you like bargains, check out ClarkDeals.com and our daily Clark Deals newsletter. Free if you want it. So, customer no service. It's what we get so often from a company, even when they've messed up. 620 WTMG, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We get the big blow off. And they all lie. They say, your call is very important to us. And that's why we're playing crummy. Six thirty, Brampton, Ontario. I believe it's um, 
CFCO, or sorry, Chatham, Ontario. This is KYFI on 630, uh, St. Louis, Missouri. 275 miles, 5,000 watts. So two stations fighting. Usually country music this way. You can hear it. Okay, cool. <laughs> the banjo rocking. WSM, Nashville, Tennessee on 650. This is 434 miles, sounding sweet. And that noise is 670 coming up. Plus 5,750 total bonus cash on the 2019 Ram 1500 Classic Bighorn Crew Cab 4 WSCR, the score, home of the Cubs. CBR financing for 60 months equals 1667 per month for 1000 finance for one qualified buyers to pay their capital, regardless of down payment. Such a bigger story, you know, for the whole country. I think he will be a bunch, I think it will be as big of a television show as it is a in person in the building, you know, kind of thing. So right. it'll be uh, really interesting to see exactly what it looks like in there, what it sounds like, it feels like, but. Uh, I do think, you know, Probably CKGM, Montreal, media, Quebec, you know, 763 miles on 6, 690. Sweet. Like um, it should be a lot of fun uh, to, to witness to be a part of. Scott Kushner from the New Orleans Times Picket Unit, and also the advocate joining Freddie Coleman and Ian Fitzsimmons on ESPN Raider. Does a great job as a Pelicans and NBA columnist. You mentioned the atmosphere that's going to be there, and he's going to generate that kind of heat. For those who, know, who don't know Scott, what has been the most surprising thing? So there was all these questions leading up to the trial of President Trump, which began today. Um, and, and, and the, the, the wonder, the, the question was, will all the Republican senators hang together? This should be 700. This is double check. Some like Mitt Romney and uh, Susan Collins hang separately. Uh, there was a proposal and null out the other offending station. Pretty sensitive receiver. Um, so 700 is WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. Leader of the Senate, Senate Majority Leader. His rules. Situation when Keith Yandel. Two minutes and four seconds into that uh, third period, and a Panthers penalty kill, which came in ranked 23rd on the year, went up against the struggling Blackhawks power play which was just 5 for 44 over his previous 720 WGN Chicago. They cut it to 4-2. Brings it right point, Gustafson with 9 on the power play to keep left point. Okay, that's CFZM 740, Toronto, Ontario. 460 miles, Zoomer Radio, always, a, always wonderful to hear, always. It does seem to help most. 750 WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. Matt, with local businesses. But with wind chill, it's right there on the ocean. It's got to be about 20 degrees, maybe. WGR, Detroit, and Michigan, on 760. It's because this 270 is like rock. miles. This is part of the secret of Trump, the entertainment battle. Now you could probably use a loop to try to null out 780, but 780 is pretty strong. This is 770 right here, this uh, quiet conversation. WABC, New York, New York, 750 miles. I'm just wrapping up here. Upwork professionals have the flexibility and capability to work We need one heck of a loop to try to null out 780. Strong station. Uh, WBBM, Chicago. If you're already low on conference rooms. Plus, they're free. 
come in and engage yourself and watch yourself in there. In history, particularly, it's being taught in American public schools. That it's just yeah, who's the band now? Uh, that brought us back from <laughs> the situation, and I think it's pretty awesome when you have a. Well, mostly dehydration is the way that they, they don't have the. So this is 860 C CJBC, Toronto, Ontario. Here's KOA Denver on 8.50. 890 miles. It's the second highest percentage. Well, they were, of course, uh, belongs to Mariana Rivera's perfect 100%. Um, 880 WCBS, New York, New York. 750 miles. Any position player in history. See, and the several Democrats. 890 WLS, Chicago. Charlie Tree. Remember him? Wong. Classic radio shows on 900. CHML, Hamilton, Ontario. 430 miles. Country music there uh, on 910, maybe? Pretty cool. Maybe 920? I gotta find out now. <laughs> Running out of time, but you know, this is fun. You know, you get an idea what this radio can do anyway. So, country music on 920. Um, only thing I have for 920, oh, I have two. It could be uh, CX, sorry, CKNX, which is uh, Wingham, Ontario, uh, possibly, or uh, KDHL, uh, Minnesota. So, interesting. Okay. Want opinions and want to give opinions? Then keep it here on CBS Sports Radio. We're ready for you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Great friends nationwide. Scott and BR here on CBS Sports Radio. I'm Scott Kaplan along with my main... Number 4, Candy Eagles Stadium. Blue pill is now generic, which means you can get the prescription... ESPN 1000. I'm just going to go all the way up to the top here, and we'll stop at the top. Portable. And right now, get your first online visit totally free. You go to 4 hymns.com. Steeler for complete details and limitations. Do what I did and make a simple call. You'll we'll travel with the freedom to discover and the confidence to explore. W News Radio. Free Vince Tenor at 1145, a group of New Jersey State Troopers. Digesting stuff, or you get something stuck, or maybe you're a real heavy meat eater. Track in. Who's going to be the one that's held accountable? Well, I don't know. I think this new startup company with Joe Biden's brother as executive. And crossed over. And Abraham was called through our Well put. Good first time call, JR. Thank you. Uh, do call again here. Thanks. To be the greatest country in the world. But uh, dominated by certain hands. Or your tax refund is, so you can get. Almost through the band here. He's Ian Fitzsimmons, I'm Freddie Coleman, and Freddie Amphitz through a social crisis. Sixteen twenty. 
1630 KCGJ, uh, Iowa City, Iowa, about 175 miles. 1630. Yeah, um, there you go. I think it said it properly, right? Didn't it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It goes all the way up there. KCGJ, Iowa City, Iowa. It's a thousand watts at night. Cool. So let's go ahead and turn this off. Um, that's neat to get the call letters right at the end. Uh, so yes, uh, the General Electric. Uh, this is really cool, the Superstar. Um, I really like it because it's really thin profile. You can definitely kick this with you anywhere you want. It's got the AC-DC uh, thing, which is great. You can plug it in or use batteries, which you probably plug it in more often than running batteries because, yeah, it's just how it is. It's got linear style supply, so you don't have to worry about noise on the AM band. It'll come in fantastic. Just don't have any LEDs or fluorescent lamps around you. Right now I use incandescent bulbs, so there's no interference on my radio uh, band scans. So yeah, we're working out pretty good. I like the tone control. Um, this needs uh, this needed a little bit of a deoxic in it. It was really bad, but it's really easy to get this radio apart. There's some screws in the back. This front cover comes off and the speaker's attached. And then you can get to the volume pot. These, these lift off. And then uh, there's a spot behind on the side. It looks like there's holes you can access, but that's not the best way to put it in. From the side, you can get to the wipers, and I was able to drop a little bit of deoxic in there, 100%, uh, and get it uh, cleaned up. So now it's working pretty good, because otherwise it was scratch city. <laughs> so yes, this radio gets a buy for me. If you see it in great condition, I think it's a great classic radio to add to your collection, just uh, from a bygone era. Really classy look. I like the silver and black trim, too. It's awesome. So give me a big like if you guys like this video. Yes, I know you did. Um, two, um, if you like General Electric products and you want to see more features, just let me know. Say, Todd Herbert, I want to see more General Electric radios. I'll get them. Um, hit subscribe at the bell icon to get notified of those reviews and feature presentations. And, of course, three, comment below what you think about the Superstar. Would you add this to your collection of classic radios or would you just stick with your Super Radio? I know the Super Radio is quite the bigger format. This is actually easier to handle and does fairly well. I'm pretty happy. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next video.